This is the Eye for an Eye channel. Welcome to today's show. I really shouldn't have to do a video on this guy, but I guess it's actually needed, believe it or not. And when you see the things that I'll show you, you're gonna say, how in the world do you even need to do a video showing that this guy is one of them, that this guy is a Satanist, and that this guy is promoted by the mainstream? Well, apparently I do. And at least for other people out there to see it, I know there's gonna be a lot of people that defend this guy because he plays into the left right. He plays into the conservative. And you'll see it's the same stuff on the left and the right when it comes to the lyrics of the music about getting drunk, dumbing down society, acting hard and tough. This is all done by design. This is Tavistock-like behavior that they're grooming on both sides. But he pretends, you know, that he plays the part of being a rebel and he's been censored. You know, he's censored when he's got 4 million YouTube subscribers, is monetized, and then puts out things with duct tape over his mouth like he's not allowed to talk. If you saw the video I did earlier about how YouTube is okay with you doing diss tracks, well then what is this guy concerned about? Because I'm assuming this is a diss track. But I love when these guys claim to be censored and then I love when people attack me about it. Because they're like, he's not really censored. No, I love making new channels every week. I love the tedious task of creating new channels. I love the tedious task of uh, renaming myself. How many people out there have to rebrand themselves? Is Tom McDonald next month going to come out and be uh, Ronald McDonald? I mean, is he going to come out next month and be, you know, uh, Joe Plummer? I mean, is he going to? No, of course not. Is he going to be George Glass in three weeks? No, he's not. He's going to be Tom McDonald. He's always going to be Tom McDonald. Me, on the other hand, I have to rebrand myself so nobody can ever find me. That's the point of why they do what they do because they don't want people finding me and waking up, even though I know people still remember me and still talk about me, and that's not me patting my ego. That's what real censorship looks like, not what Tom McDonald and Russell Brand are going through. So this is a trending popular video that came out about Tom McDonald, and I couldn't help but cover it. I've seen Tom McDonald, I've been asked about Tom McDonald, and I've just been like, what is the point of covering him? But I really should have covered Tom McDonald earlier so that the people out there could actually understand and see. Because some people just see the song and then they're like, oh, yeah, he's rapping about the woke. He's against woke. OK, they're all they're keep the woke thing is by design to keep you trapped in the left and right. You're being herded by these people. Tom McDonald. Where do I start with the fake censorship of Tom McDonald? His thoughts on Russell Brand. He's complaining about big tech. Oh, big tech is his censoring me at 4 million subs and I got 35,000 views in a half hour on a new music video that's in YouTube trending. Poor Tom McDonald. Okay, so then we look at Tom McDonald before I show you stuff in his music video, which is why I covered it. And I'm covering him because the song is called Chrome. Okay, Chrome. Do you know what he's referencing? I mean, give me a break. People, what do you think he's... Uh, I'll get into it in a couple of minutes. I mean, you think he's referencing Google Chrome? Come on. Uh, Tom McDonald here, throwing up devil horns, wearing a Baphomet shirt. Okay. So he just casually, this is him. He posted on his Facebook account by your, I mean, look at this. And people think that this guy is a truther or a, oh, he's exposing the new world order. This guy is one of them. He's wearing the Baphomet. I mean, if you ever, if I ever showed my face and I was wearing the Baphomet and I somehow tried to explain it away, be like, oh, I'm just wearing it because I like goats now all of a sudden. I would want you to come to my house and punch me in the face, Okay. I would never, not only would I never wear it, if I saw somebody wearing it, I would confront them about wearing it, okay? So this guy's just wearing it, and people are like, oh, don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. And then, of course, who's Tom McDonald, you know, in addition to throwing up the devil horns eight million times, who's Tom McDonald's girlfriend? Oh, it's just no, no excuse me, Nova Rockefeller, famous for what? For not Nova, but for no reason, right? Nova Rockefeller, who is, I don't know, one of the Rockefellers, okay? Is it, are we that dumb at this point where people are like, these are truthers. It's literally a Rockefeller, okay? Are we not, are we that dumbed down where truthers don't even know who the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds are or any of these, the DuPonts, any of these elite bloodlines? It's a Rockefeller dating this guy. And what else is the Rockefeller Nova doing? Oh, here's Nova. Finally, she says, or he says, it took long enough to get my star on Hollywood Boulevard. And what did a star of? Oh, it's a star of the Baphomet. That's right, a Hollywood star on the Walk of Fame of the Baphomet, and she's posing in front. But again, they use this, you know, just like the celebrities do. They're not really doing it. They're trolling, they're cracking jokes, get over it, because people want to love and worship these people. They want to believe in these people because they get sucked into the music, this dumbed down mind control spell casting. Oh, I want to get drunk. They act like the rebels against the society. I mean, it's unbelievable. I'll get into the music video in a second. You can see him doing the Rockefeller pyramid over there. Does he partners with Jay-Z? Is that what he's doing? Oh, he's just joking around, right? He's joking around when he puts the finger over his mouth going, shh, right? Oh, yeah, just like, but, you know, these people have double standards. They'll see videos that I do on 
Tom Hanks and all these guys showing you t Kanye West that they're, you know, every single celebrity, there's a picture for the most part of them doing shh. Okay, and again, this is a Freemasonic oath that they take. It's that they swear to secrecy. But when Tom McDonald does it, of course, he's allowed to get away with it because, you know, he makes fun of the woke people, so that's cool, right? And people, again, people will comment, they'll be like, you know, wait, you don't show your face, so we don't know what you're doing. Uh, trust me, I'm not doing that. Okay, is Tom McDonald making two to three videos a day, 12 hours a day, you know, for 50 bucks a video? No patrons, barely ad revenue. I mean, I'm pushing as hard as I can, not for the dough here, for the truth. Okay, because I hate to see these Satanists grooming and brainwashing the masses because there's souls at stake. And that's what this war is about. Not, you know, for fame and fortune. Because if it was, then I would show my face and I would go out there and start a literal uprising and it would be pretty entertaining and people would be on board, I'm sure. But that's not what this is about. It's about leading people away from these people who are leading kids and teenagers and stupid parents who are letting their kids listen to this because they think it's anti-woke, leading them right to hell. So... His song is called Chrome. That's the song that's being promoted. Chrome, right. What do you think Chrome stands for? Could it stand for something with um, adrenaline? <laughs> you know, put that word right in front of Chrome. That's what he's talking about. How do we know? Well, we know because we see his eyeballs completely white and possessed. And what happens when these people do that? They become demonically possessed. But it's no, it's okay for Tom McDonald, right? Because he's rapping about Google Chrome. Oh, I'm sorry. He's rapping about the Chrome on his car tires. That's literally what he's claiming in the song. So it's called Chrome. And then he's giving people the middle finger during the, if you want to call this music, he's giving people the middle finger, right? Who do you think he's giving the finger? Oh, he's giving it to the elites. All right. And his girlfriend is a Rockefeller. He's giving the middle finger to the, he's giving the middle finger to his audience because they're so dumb that they think that people like him are organically famous. You don't become organically famous unless they want you to. How about the guy with the beard? who's suddenly out there singing, who's getting promoted. Everyone's like, is he in? Is he out? He's being promoted. He's not being censored. He's on Joe Rogan. He's on these shows. That's all you need to know, okay? Do you see me anywhere? And don't be, I'm not saying that because I'm like, oh, I'm butthurt. I don't want to be anywhere. They would never invite anybody like me or you on any of these things. They will never promote a Christian who exposes this for what it really is. Tom McDonald is keeping you trapped just like all the other ones who are promoted are keeping you trapped. So some of the lyrics, I mean, in the music are just really ridiculous. It just shows you the mindset of people. Like one of the arguments people should be making is just how music in general is making a dumbed down society. Cause you listen to the lyrics and then we're told these are artists, right? How long did it take him to write this? Three minutes? I think I could write this in six seconds. It's so, and they're like, I'm in the music studio for months on end writing it. Oh yeah. High speed chases, smoking weed and parking lots of police stations, couple CDs in my disc, man. I was Parker Nirvana. It was Parker Nirvana. Skateboard deck was painted with the topless pick of Madonna. Oh my goodness. Is this, is this Shakespeare? I mean, uh, goodness gracious. I mean, even Beethoven didn't go into the, so much depth of writing the music lyrics of, well, his, uh, you know, his, his uh, whatever you call it, the notes of his music, right? And he goes on to say, F a rule, I'm the same young buckaroo. F school, F the prez, and F the world too. F this, F them, F that, F you, right? This stupid mindset of stupid people. And again, just dumbing people down, saying ridiculous things, pretending they're cigarette, they're uh, smart. I'm sorry, is it cigarettes? I'm about to read the lyrics from that, so I'll just get to it. I had a pack of cigarettes and don't give an F. Oh, that's great. All right, so promoting cigarettes, promoting drinking. Again, these are things that a lot of Christians and a lot of people who are awake struggle with. And people like this just feed into that stuff. They feed into it. So let's look at the music video again, Chrome, where he becomes demonically possessed by rapping about Chrome, but we're supposed to believe it's the Chrome on the car because he has a, a verse in the song where he says, but the rims were Chrome. That's the, drove a beater that couldn't roll the windows up, but the rims were Chrome. Where this guy's worth millions of dollars and people are like, that's just you're being bitter. Oh, are you kidding me? Do you understand how this works, how Tavistock works? Does anybody understand who's questioning if this guy's actually, it's a mind control operation. These lyrics were probably written in three seconds. They're dumbed down lyrics to dumb down an audience. Oh yeah, give the middle finger. I don't give an F. Behaving like children. Adults behaving like children. Raising their kids the same way. Because how many conservatives are like, oh, Tom McDonald's got safe music. None of it's safe. Get away from it. They're like, oh, Tom McDonald raps against that stuff so I can let him listen to it. It's not mainstream. It is mainstream. Okay, because he speaks woke, you think it's not mainstream? The whole woke agenda and anyone talking about it is part of the mainstream. I mean, it's, a, it's hurting you to the left and right. As long as they keep you trapped, you know, and they show him with the American flag, so everyone's like, oh yeah, Tom McDonald, right? But the rims were chrome, ladies and gentlemen. So 
The lyrics of the song, I read some of them, but then we go into the video where he's demonically possessed. Then we have him, you know, with his black and white Masonic hat on. Isn't that cute? While well, he's wearing a shirt that says what? Austin 316. So mocking Jesus. We already know he's mocking Jesus. He's wearing the Baphomet shirt. Is this not related? Oh, he's a big wrestling fan. Stone Cold Steve Austin, right? They're supposed to just brush it off. Because if he had a shirt on that said F, you know, God or F, then people listening or watching would be like, wait a minute, I don't agree with that. So they subtly mock you right to your face, wearing an Austin 316 shirt right to your face with a Masonic hat on. What is he? Did he run through the checkered flag at a NASCAR race and it got stuck on his head? Is that what happened? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Tell me another one. Goodness gracious. Goes on with this guy. He's giving the middle finger to his audience. And then just the lyrics that these people rap. They bring another guy on, you know, the, the Rockefeller's Slipknot on. What more do you need to say? You ever seen Slipknot's videos? I've exposed them. I'll put one of them up on Uprising Revival, the YouTube channel, so everyone can see it for free. So make sure you sub to that if you haven't yet. I mean, they're just, you know, Slipknot, I mean, you really shouldn't need somebody to point out that they're satanic, but I did it to show you, you know, them bathing in blood and all that stuff, their blood baptism, and of course drinking it and then becoming like zombie-like, kind of like the same thing in this video where they're talking about chrome, not showing you them drinking it, but talking about chrome, and then, of course, you know, becoming demon-possessed, right? And it's not the first time that this guy's used demon eyes, as you see in the, some of the screenshots in one of his videos. Of course, he's put up tweets before, the whole world's brainwashed. Share if you agree. Half the country fell asleep, but they, they scream woke. Uh, and he's got the pyramid right on his forehead. I mean, look, you want to give me something? I get slack all the time for the eyeball being in my logo. The reason I still use it, so that people can see, they might be like, oh, wait a minute, that looks familiar. And, you know, maybe think it's some other YouTuber. But it's the eyeball crying on fire. It's me saying, let's burn it down. Let's kill it off. Let's kill the secret system. That's what it's saying, okay? It's not me promoting and glorifying the eye. You could zoom in and see the tears. Sometimes it has black goo dripping out of it. And it's burning, literally burning, okay? And the eyes all swelled up, okay? This is, this is a little bit different here, right? He's got it right in his forehead prominently. But of course, right in front of your face showing you this stuff, but the naive people are like, yeah, he's exposing it. He's exposing woke. He, you know, the whole world's brainwashed. Yeah, the whole world is brainwashed. But anybody who's listening to Tom McDonald that thinks that this guy is not one of them is worse than brainwashed because at least the other people out there who are Democrats or whatever they identify as are under you know, mind control and they're so stupid, et cetera, et cetera. But if you actually think that you're awake and you actually understand what's going on and you think that this guy's trolling you, you're just as dumb as them, if not dumber, okay? And I don't mean to insult anyone who listens to this channel, but honestly, I don't even care at this point because if people are literally still listening, I mean, uh, you know, watching people like this and listening to people like this and thinking that they're woke and, you know, I mean, come on. You know, just, you got to grow up and get over it. You know, I've liked things before in the past and then found out the person was woke too when I first started this stuff or not woke was one of them, right? Because in the beginning I was like, well, it can't be every single thing. Then I realized it is every single thing, including sports, right? And you suddenly see a guy, oh, well, I watch football. That's clear of all this stuff. And then you just see all the woke agendas in football, the Illuminati agendas there. You got to get over it. Just realize that Jesus is the only truth in this world. And the only thing, you know, the only thing we should care about is getting the truth out there. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. So as the music video continues, you got this guy throwing up 666 signs, <laughs> throwing up devil horns, you know, all the time. But no, this isn't, I mean, I, there's probably more stuff with this guy than you'll find on like even the most basic celebrities that I've exposed, right? How many times do you need to see the guy wearing a Baphomet shirt with upside down crucifixes on it, holding up devil horns, doing the shh, right? Dating a Rockefeller should be enough for anybody to realize, right? And of course he's, he's defending Russell Brand because Russell Brand dated or currently some people think married to, but at least we know for a fact dated a Rockefeller, okay? I don't know, I don't have uh, Russell Brand's marriage certificate, so I'm not sure I'm not up on the gossip of Russell Brand, but I do know for a fact that he walked the red carpet with a Rothschild. So there's the Rothschild, there's a Rockefeller connection. Both of these men who are supposed to be uh, free from the evil, corrupt system are freeing people's minds like Russell Brand and this guy hanging out with Yuval Harari or whatever that freak's name is, worshiping Antichrist, wearing Baphomets, having 33s tattooed on them, and still these suckers actually believe these people. They're not censored, they're not promoted. The whole thing with Russell Brand, that video's now up on my website if you haven't seen it. I take them down after seven days because that's how censored I am. I can't go seven days and leave them up or the channel gets censored. You have to find it and censor it. I gotta just keep taking them down. So that means even less ad revenue. It means less uh, traffic to my channel because no, the chat videos aren't up. The more videos you have, the more traffic you have, all that stuff. Because I just want to be able to speak, right? But anyway, Russell Brand, 
Of course, he's a martyr now. Russell Brand's been attacked by YouTube. You know, you hear this guy, uh, Tom McDonald, claiming, talking about Russell Brand. He's like, oh, he's going to lose a lot of money. He's worth millions of dollars. He's in Hollywood movies. Are you joking me? Are you kidding me? Right? But they play martyrs. Okay? And you might look at me and be like, you're playing a martyr. I'm not playing a martyr. I'm nobody. I'm nothing. Okay? I have 20,000 YouTube subscribers. At one point, I had a lot. I still was a nobody and still, you know, it does. <laughs> my point being is that these people are promoted, glorified, and not censored because they're not giving you truth. They're get, pretending to keep you in this left-right paradigm while showing you right to your face that they worship the devil. And the audience is like, yeah, but they're just, you know, he, that's Tom McDonald. He's a little quirky. Yeah, he's quirky. All right, maybe throwing up the devil horns in one of his rap videos, maybe I'd give him a pass and be like, all right, well, maybe he just was throwing his hands around trying to rap. Okay, but we got uh, Baphomet shirts. That's just an automatic no pass. Okay, you have the lack of censorship, YouTube trending. Okay, the shh, the girlfriends of Rockefeller. You got the pentagram with the Baphomet, demonic eyes, demonic possessed, the black and white checkerboard showing you he's Freemasonic. And then just constantly giving you the middle finger while talking about something that ends with the chrome. Okay, not talking about tires, ladies and gentlemen, not talking about Google Chrome. If you don't know what Chrome he's talking about, snap out of it and wake up. It's the Chrome you can't talk about. There's a few things you can't talk about. Chrome is one. The other one has to do with people who love bagels. Yeah, love them. And those are things on the website, of course, we can all talk about and share. So if you haven't been, you know, if you haven't got the clue yet about Tom McDonald, hopefully I just gave it to you again. The Slipknot video I'll put up over on Uprising Revival. So stop the video now. Subscribe to that channel if you haven't yet, as well as United Uprising. I need your help in building out these channels so I can continue to do this. Otherwise, voices like me are gone and you're stuck with the Tom McDonald's. And if that's the voice you want to follow, go ahead. And I don't want anyone to follow me. I'm just trying, I'm like from the standpoint of like, follow me, be my fan. No, I'm just trying to get the information out so people could snap out of this psychosis. I'm trying to get out as simply as possible to snap sense into human beings. And to keep kids protected from this stuff. That's why I'm continuing to do it. So hopefully people will follow my channels, not follow me, follow God only, follow Jesus Christ, okay? I thank you for being here. Hope you're all doing well. God bless you as always and your families.